Hi, everyone. My name is Suzanne Soderberg, and I am a certified divorce lending professional, and I specialize in helping clients and couples that are going through a divorce and helping them with their financing needs if they're buying out the spouse, you know, or departing this, the, the marital home or what have you. And I work with a lot of different professionals out there, attorneys, mediators, divorce coaches, real estate agents. And I have the pleasure today, I wanted to bring in my friend and colleague, Carlene Johnson, aka CJ, I call her all the time. And she is a certified divorce real estate expert. A lot of people don't even know that our designations exist. And we always get the question, well, where were you when I was getting divorced? So wanted to bring her in and share her expertise and what to look for and um, how she can bring value to your um, divorce situation. So Carlene, thank you so much for taking time out of the day to speak with me. How are you? And why don't you introduce yourself to our audience? Well, thank you so much, Susan. It is always a pleasure speaking with you and thank you for this opportunity. Um, I am Carlene Johnson, uh, CJ to a lot of people. I am a certified divorce real estate expert. Um, I've had this designation about since 2018, the end of 2018. Um, and prior to that, I worked in the family law courts. So I had a unique perspective with regard to what happens within um, in divorces. But um, I am here, I am in Houston, Texas, greater Houston. Um, I had my real estate license for going on 11 years. And um, I'm a part of the reason why I am here uh, or why I focus on divorce listings is, is two part one, because when I entered the real estate industry, I, um, did not feel, I felt there was a disconnect yeah, between definitely. the family life, community and real estate. I didn't know what that disconnect was, but I just felt there was a disconnect and, um, the CDRE designation identifies that. And uh, a part of what we do is collaborate with fellow divorce, um, fellow uh, colleagues in the divorce realm, like a CDLP, a CDRE and a CDLP, we work hand in hand. And mm -hmm. you know, that, that creates a synergy and allows things to go a lot smoother or the divorcing parties. Right. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. And, and like Susan said, a lot of people don't even realize that our designations exist. Right, right. So obviously that, you know, being through that before, um, that's what ended guiding you into this, you know, field of work and, and, you know, to help those, the clients and everything. And we always talk about it. Um, and we have a graphic of putting the puzzle pieces together because they're, we're all connected but we're so disconnected. And like I said, a lot of people don't know that where that disconnect is. And that's why we're here to hopefully, you know, connect us more to keep using that connecting. So um, just some, you know, some random questions. Um, so what's something about your industry that's lately surprised you? I mean, is there anything out there that you're like, okay, something, this is just kind of very different than I've seen? Um specializing in divorce or as with the CDRE designation and um, in real estate as a realtor, um, I encounter a lot of real estate agents that are, I mean, when they find out I have this designation, they want to find out more about it. I want to get that designation. I want to um, do this because I went through a divorce and um, in some instances, just by the conversation, I can tell that they have, um, they still have residual effects from their divorce process. And it's just, it's, it, it, you know, working in the courts, I saw a lot of the things that transpired, you know, through divorces and then coming out and some, some of these individuals They've experienced divorce, their own divorce, or sometimes their parents' divorce. And as adults, it's still there. It still affects them. And 
I, I would hope that real estate agents or any professional hoping that real estate professionals would be able to remove themselves from the situation and, or identify the fact that they have some type of um, bias. If they're aware that they have the bias, it's okay. You know, as long as you're aware of something, you can do that. So it's, it's, that's one of the things for real estate professionals within this profession that I see a lot of real estate agents that will say, well, I've been through a divorce. So when I, you know, if I get divorcing couples, I, I, I have no problem representing them because I know what they're going through. But for them, what I'd like for them or what would be great is for them to even realize that your preconceived notions and biases can have a negative effect on that divorce sale that you're working on right it's like your your thoughts and your experiences are yours they're not yeah. this person's and I, that was actually going to be one of the questions that I'd ask you is what do you wish everybody knew about your job um even yeah. even even the, you know the, the clients that you work with not just you know other you know agents or whatever because like you said you said that they insert themselves and their experience into it, but you, you know, we're, we, we both work as neutral, you know, we just yes. have that neutral stance holistically and everything, but yeah. um, for, even for the clients that you work with, I mean, what's, what's something that you wish that they could understand? That um, at the end of the day, the focus that a CDRE has is for the best outcome with, for, for the parties. Right. Not necessarily regarding the sale of the property. We don't, even, even if we're brought into, for me, I've had um, pushback from parties because if one side brings me in and says, I'd like for her to um, you know, be the listing agent, what they do sometimes is they'll be like, well, if you brought her in, then she's on your side. And for them to understand that, first of all, a CDRE, we have our own separate code of ethics in addition to regular. And a part of that is for us to, um, we, we, our training is focused on the BIF method, which is brief, informative, friendly, and firm. Um, and also it is based on conflict resolution the training that we go through. Right. Um, and we're neutral, unbiased. We're not on either side because one of the things when I worked in the courts, one of my judges would say, there are three sides to every story. Yep. Petitioner side, respondent side, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. But realizing what I've come to realize within this designation is that each person's perspective is their reality. Right, and exactly. So we have to acknowledge their reality. You don't have to, we don't have to agree with your reality, but we do acknowledge the fact that that is your perspective. That's your reality. Um, but also understand that our role, our task, my task is to accomplish the sale of that property which at, in the long run is in your best interest. Right. And it's funny, you, you and I, we always say it, we can talk to each other for hours and it's like you read my mind with, you know, the next question, because I was going to say, what's something within your, um, your field that you do that absolutely no one agrees with you upon, on what you do? Is there anything you can think of? Yeah. Uh Not necessarily yeah. no one, very few, I would think, um, have believed that 
very few believe that um, this designation is necessary in, in my profession. Mm -hmm. believe that this is necessary. And even in the family law community, I think, um, you know, or even even litigants, they believe anybody can sell a house. Yes, you're correct. Anybody can sell a house. However, when it's a divorce, there's a whole, whole lot more going on than just the sale of a home. And um understanding the dynamic and all the different things that are going on is key. And um, a lot of people believe, well, it's just the sale of the home. That's within the industry. That's true. That's what they think. It's just the sale of a home. That's all you got to do is get the house sold. And that's not valid. That's on so many levels. That's right. not correct. Got it. Well, I know that we, like I said, we can go on for a while. I like to keep keep things kind of short um, and concise, but I'm sure that I will probably be doing, you know, more of these with you because there's just so much information that you can give. So I'll, I'll kind of throw one other um, question out for you is if you could write a book today, what would that be about? Even if it's not, you know, being a real estate expert for divorce. Tap into your resources identify, I mean, do the research to find out what resources are out there for you, whether it's, whether it has to do with divorce, whether it has to do with anything that you um, have an interest in, or you're getting ready to do, and you have questions about, or you're like, okay, I don't know about this. Look it up. It's, there are so many resources out there for you now that would help to minimize your stress regarding whatever it is you want to do and so tap into your resources would be the main thing that you know if I wrote a book that would be you know what I would like to focus on because I find so many people don't even realize how many resources are out there for them oh I know I mean sometimes I you know I was with someone yesterday and just one thing led to another and then you, you're brainstorming and it's like there's so like you said there's so much out there and you can just go onto the internet and find what you're looking for, whatever it may be. So Google university. Um, I know. Right. <laughs> I can't wait to read your book. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> well, I know that you have important things to do with your clients out there, but I want to thank you so much for taking the time um, to be with us today and we'll be spreading the word and everyone you'll have her information. We'll be sending it. It'll be down um, below with this and Carleen Johnson out of Houston. Texas, if I, yes. right? Um, so Houston. any, yeah. Yay. So if you have any questions or whatever, I'm sure, you know, you can find a certified real estate, a certified divorce real estate expert in your area, but um, hopefully you found this informational for you all. And now you know about two new people. If you ever run across anyone going through a divorce and we are here to help you CDREs and CDLPs. Yes. So thank you everyone for listening to us chit chat. And we're going to go chit chat some more. See you later.